Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Behind The Reel. I'm your host, John, and today we've got another electronics video for you, something a little bit different. Today we're gonna talk about batteries, and in particular, we're gonna talk about lithium batteries. So if you guys are trying to figure out which batteries are gonna be the best for your setup, make sure you guys stay tuned to this video. You won't wanna miss this one. Before we get today's video kicked off, I wanna shout out the sponsor of today's video, BizBaits and True South Lures. Make sure you go check them out at bizbaits.com. They've got a premium selection of soft plastics and True South Lures has some really top-notch hard lures as well, such as spinner baits and shaky head jigs. So guys, go check them out. All right, so I get this question all the time. I just saw it on Facebook and it got me thinking we need to put a video out giving people some information on things that they might need to keep in mind when they go to upgrade to a new battery setup. And a lot of you guys out there have seen a lot of information about lithium batteries, and I don't have anything bad to say about lithium batteries. And in fact, I've ran lithium batteries for the last couple years now between my bass boat and my kayak, and I've got nothing but great things to say about them. Although they are gonna be in a higher price point. But if you think about it, one thing I want to make sure that you guys understand the life expectancy of these lithium batteries are gonna be much longer than your traditional lead acid or AGM batteries. A lot of the times we're still running AGM batteries for our cranking battery and for a lot of our electronics on our boat, but a lot of people are going to lithium batteries. Now lithium batteries aren't necessarily gonna give you better performance for your electronics. That is a common myth and 12 volts is 12 volts. Now, I can see the argument out there that maybe like a 16 volt battery is gonna give you a little better picture. And I've had people send me screenshots that just might prove that. So if you guys are one of those that you want to get that image dialed in just as much as you can, definitely look into some of those 16 volt batteries. There are several brands out there that offer this as an option. Now, if you guys are looking at upgrading your trolling motor batteries, lithium is gonna be a great option for you. There are several different options to choose from. You can go with just your regular 12 volt battery. You can go with a 24 volt battery or a single 36 volt battery. Now, if you go into one of the 24 or 36 volt battery options, you are going to have to use a separate charger. So if you're already maxed out on your onboard charger as it is, or maybe you've got an old onboard charger that isn't gonna support lithium batteries, this may not be a big deal. And a lot of these lithium batteries, when you get them in that 24 or 36 volt option, are gonna come with a charger. So, um, you know, there are options out there, such as the NOCO dual plug port, and I can link that in the description here. If you guys are looking to run two chargers, into a single port, that way you just have to run one extension cord out to the boat and you are actually gonna be able to charge both onboard chargers through that one plug. That is something that I actually use on my boat and it has come in handy and it'll keep you from having to spend a ton of money on upgrading to brand new charging systems. So that is a little pro hack for you guys and if you're looking to save some money, you may already have what you need to charge the batteries that you're looking to upgrade to. A lot of these chargers that we already have on our boats are going to have the ability to charge a lithium battery. You just got to do a little bit of research to find out. And I was surprised after doing some digging on my own that some of these older Minn Kota digital chargers were actually suited to, to charge lithium batteries. However, they have actually improved their technology. You had the PC, the precision chargers. A lot of people were charging their lithium batteries off of, and now they have the PCL, which is a lithium optimized charger. And that is definitely the way to go if you're looking at purchasing a new charging system. NOCO has some really great options as well. I am using a NOCO charger on my boat, so that is definitely something that comes highly recommended. I've had a lot of people with a lot of good feedback on those NOCO chargers as well. So if you guys are looking into getting into a charger that will charge everything, you might as well go to one of those lithium optimized options, whether that's NOCO or Minn Kota. And I know there's other options out there, but those are the ones that I'm most familiar with. Why would you go with the 24 volt battery over uh, two 12 volt batteries? Or why would you go with a 36 volt battery over three 12 volt batteries. And I think that really what it comes down 
to is it comes down to space. You know, I don't think weight is really going to play much of a factor. You may be looking at a few pounds difference. These lithium batteries are super lightweight. So if you're looking to take some weight out of the boat, the lithium batteries are going to be a big advantage, not only for that, but they're going to give you longer run times. They're going to be more efficient and they've got a longer shelf life. So if you're looking at buying a new battery and you look at the lithium option versus your traditional lead acid or AGM battery, you're going to notice a pretty big price difference. But once you start doing the math, if these lithium batteries last as long as they say they will, and a lot of these companies have some really great warranties and they will take care of you. I've seen it firsthand. They'll, they'll swap you out. They'll get you back up and running. If these lithium batteries last as long as they say they will, then you're actually going to come out money ahead. And if you're not having to switch out your batteries every two or three years, then it's definitely going to be an advantage for you. You're not going to have to mess with it and it's going to be less of a headache. You're going to end up spending about the same money, whether you go lithium or you go lead acid. It just comes down to how long of a life expectancy do these batteries batteries have and you do hear about lead acid batteries or AGM batteries last in five or ten years that is definitely an outlier that is not the norm and I would not expect that no matter how good you care for these batteries they're just not going to last that long now the reason that I would recommend going with 12 volt batteries over a single 24 or a single 36 is because these newer brushless motors are able to run off of 24 or 36 volts it's just a quick setting if you are running a 36 volt system and one of your lithium batteries has an issue, you can simply switch over to 24 volts and you can keep fishing throughout the day. However, if you have a 24 or a 36 volt, if you have a 24 or a 36 volt battery and you have an issue with that battery, you are completely out of a trolling motor and uh, hopefully you have a backup on hand. I'm not saying that this is something that happens a lot, but it does happen. And if it does happen, you're just completely down a trolling motor. If you have a brushless trolling motor, or if you have the anticipation of upgrading to a, a brushless motor further on down the line, and it's time to upgrade your batteries, I would highly recommend going with 12 volt lithium batteries. That's going to suit you throughout the course of time a lot better. It's going to give you the efficiency. It's going to reduce the weight. You know, the size of these lithium batteries is greatly reduced as well. You can get a 60 amp hour battery, which is the equivalent of like a group 31 lead acid battery, you know, typically going to weigh like 70 pounds. These little 60 amp hour batteries are going to weigh like 10 pounds. I mean, they're super lightweight. They're a much smaller footprint. You could put three of those 60 amp hour batteries in the place of maybe two or less than the space of where you would typically put two AGM or lead acid batteries. So, uh, you know, you're still going to be saving the weight. You're still going to be saving the space. You've got the efficiency. You're going to be able to run these trolling motors for much longer than you can with the lead acid batteries. Now, one downside is you don't really have a warning sign. Once that lithium battery is dead, it's dead, and you really don't have any reduction in power like you do with uh, lead acid or AGM batteries. Typically, you will actually notice the reduction in power when you're on your foot pedal. You're not going to notice that with lithiums. You're going to get, you know, full speed up until you have no speed. So that's a downside. But the upside is I've got people that are running these 60 amp hour batteries for close to two days on the water and they're running these trolling motors hard. So if you're looking at maybe getting into an option that would allow you to run multiple days at a time without recharging, they've even got 80 and 100 amp hour battery options that are going to take up less or the same amount of space as your current setup does. It's going to save you in weight and it's going to increase your efficiency greatly. So lithium batteries are a great way to go with trolling motors. And if you want to run a dedicated lithium battery for your electronics, this is a great option as well. Get you like a 100, 120 amp hour battery and you can run three, four graphs plus your forward facing sonar for 12, 16, 18 hours, just kind of depending on your setup. But lithium batteries are going to be a great option for running electronics as well as your trolling motor. And they've even come out with some new cranking options as well. So make sure you guys look into those. If you want a recommendation on a battery brand, 
I have experience with Amped Outdoors. I've ran several of their batteries. I've sent several customers home with them and I've gotten a lot of good feedback. I have seen some issues pop up with Amped Outdoors batteries just like any battery would, but the great thing that I have to report back to you guys is, is that Amped has taken care of those issues. They've, they've reached back out to these customers and they've got them taken care of. So if you're looking for a company to stand behind a really great lithium battery option, check out Amped Outdoors. I'll put that link down there in the description below. And guys, if you have any questions, put them down there in the comments. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.